Welcome back to Melbourne, Australia. And today we're in the heart of Melbourne's inner city, specifically the east end of Little Burke Street, better known as Chinatown. Today is Lunar New Year in 2024. But let's take a step back and look at Chinatown's history and how we got to where we are today. Established in the early 1850s, Melbourne's Chinatown is the oldest continuous ethnic Chinese settlement in the Western world. It's also the oldest Chinatown in the Southern Hemisphere. Yes, China is the largest Chinese settlement in the Northern Hemisphere. Initially, the early Chinese immigrants flocked to Victoria due to the gold rush. As the gold rush waned in Victoria, there was a shift from the gold fields in regional Victoria back towards the city. With the ex-prospectors setting up permanent shopping in Chinatown, they established themselves in the local economy with a variety of professions, ranging from herbalists to fruit and vegetable brokers. With the immigration, there was also the less desirable side of Chinatown, with opium dens, gambling homes and brothels established in the back streets of Chinatown. By 1859, the census revealed that 8.5% of Victoria's population was Chinese immigrants. This amounted to an amazing 45,000 Chinese immigrants into Victoria's colony across a mere nine year period. As Australia moved towards federation and the 20th century came around, the Immigration Restriction Act came into play. With the white Australia policy in play, the population of Chinatown began to shrink. Under pressure, the Chinese community maintained a degree of relevance by populating the new invention, the dim sim. A cultural staple now, it was not available to the masses until the 1920s. After decades of decline and policy against the Chinese community, the white Australia policy began to be dismantled in the 1960s and 70s with the rise of Asian immigration to Australia on the rise, introducing a variety of Asian ethnicities to Chinatown. As Chinatown refound its feet, it culminated with an international pop culture presence, Chinatown featuring in the 1997 Jackie Chan film, Mr. Nice Guy. Chinatown in Melbourne is also notable for its statue of Sun Yat-sen, who is recognized by all sides of Chinese and Taiwanese politics and society as the founder of modern China. This is a rare monument to Sun out of China, possibly being only one of 11 monuments to him globally outside China. Chinatown is a place of unity and continued growth for the Chinese community in Australia, one which will continue to grow for many decades to come, policy and population committee.